So as we get ready for the 3,000 mile trip, I just thought I'd kind of show you uh, what we're doing is you know, we put, we're putting the, uh, the mats in. These, uh, I'm kind of disappointed. I like the WeatherTech mats better, but I tell you, these are the Prius Prime mats that, uh, that they threw in. Uh, I say threw in <laughs> $35,000 later. Um, but what we're doing is uh, we're just equipping the car getting it ready now this is this is uh this is something you might want to look into the Mealy compact 2 i bought it for just working on the cars you know and uh so what i'm doing you know i'm taking out those cloth piece of shit toyota mats and i'm putting in the uh the rubber mats here to to get it ready for uh, uh camping and uh getting the car trashed uh the other thing uh, that you're going to want to do you know here here you go 303 protecting all right uh, and by the way, you know, if you if you look, you see the discoloration here. That means it's not well protected. So even coming from the manufacturer, they don't really coat it with a with a good uh, armor all or whatever you want to use. I like the 303 myself. Um, so we're 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 basically just getting the car ready. And uh, with these rubber mats, it's going to be awesome. Uh, there's the there's the K bar. And I, and I I tell you, you know, if you're going to be traveling in today's world. Weapon up, people. Weapon up, and uh, see. There's a there's a cloth mat right over there that I'm going to be replacing, and uh, and that's where we are. All right, we're getting ready for the trip. All right, so we're dotting the I's and crossing the T's. There's your prime $100 mat for the back. Put the uh, three three protectant on there. We got the floor mats in. Check that out. There you go. All right, so we're getting the car ready for a 3,000 mile trip. And uh, the beauty is I vacuumed the hell out of this thing because once they uh, go in to put that film on the front and tent the windows, that uh, there's a lot of static electricity. They don't want anything flying around. So you got to make sure your car is completely clean. We are good to go. Fifth, well, 14 more days and that'll be done. And then we'll be on the road. Was there any difference between the uh, programmable mode and the manual? And he had no answer on that. So you'd have to get back to the car care nut on YouTube and see why he's saying that uh, you, you want to schedule it versus just manually charging it. Um, but at the same time, once again, I, I'd put just a 50% charge. You know, watch the watch the odometer in there, and once you got about a two-hour charge or three-hour charge on the battery, just unplug it. Don't charge it up full unless unless you're gonna take like I did today. I mean, I took a long trip, so I charged it up last night, full full charge. And uh, by the way, <laughs> I'm, at, I'm at 800 miles on this thing, and I've burnt half a tank of gas. <laughs> That's just stupid. It's just stupid. I can't I can't burn the gas to get it out of there, so I can fill the tank. Uh, hey, that's another thing. I talked to one of the mechanics at the Toyota dealer. And, uh, you know, I agree with him. I agree with him. Uh, you know, he says for these high-performance uh, vehicles that don't burn much gas, um, he's putting the uh, the uh, um, nitro shell uh, premium in here. Um, it, it, it 93, it used to be 94 octane, but it's 93 now. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do the same for my motorcycle, and I'm going to do it with this. So, so strictly going to be burning shell nitro in this vehicle. Just because, I mean, what the hell? I'm 700 miles and I've only burnt half a tank, so what do I care if the gas costs $4 a gallon? But right now, hey, are you going to see $6 a gallon? Oh, hell yeah. Biden and the Green New Deal, enjoy it, baby. Enjoy it. Oh, you liberal Democrats that are going to be paying $6 a gallon, check me out my Toyota Prius Prime. Woohoo! You know, let me show you what it's like to be free. <laughs> this is a new buddy of mine. I'm going to come back. Hopefully, he'll, he was going to show me a crab. He, was, he, he said he, I, he's going to dive in the water and get this crab, but unfortunately, it had gone. So it's a blue crab. And uh, but look, you know, where else can you just like leave the door open <laughs> to your truck <laughs> and just kind of like go on down and fish with the kid? There you go. All right. You know what, to add on to this video, I just want to show you. Uh, I'm going to take this car 3,000 miles. Now look at this. 
that's the carpet mat that's going to be replaced by the uh, the Toyota mats but I'm just want to show you I mean look at this the thing is filthy and I haven't even really traveled in the darn thing and that's why I said trial run trial run uh, by the way I did get the little plastic cover from the dealer so we got that taken care of and these these are just for uh, uh, pulling the the vehicle up onto a towing ramp that's what I was uh, in a previous video I thought maybe we could put something back here because they got the threads in there but but anyway so uh, this is what it's all about people I mean we're, we're gonna trash this thing and uh, you know when you when you're going into places like this and look at the mud over here you know uh, and this is what it's gonna be the whole way so this this car is it's filthy now and it's gonna get much more dirty uh, but that's why you want the uh, WeatherTech mats or the Toyota mats, which is what I'm putting in here. And then you're going to want the, uh, the film. I'm putting that 3M film over the front to protect against all the rocks flying up in those northern states. And, uh, and then, of course, we're going to tent these windows so that I got the UV protection. So we're, we're armoring this car. If, if I, you know what, if I could bulletproof the door, <laughs> I would. But you know what, the, the, the weight would be, I mean, everything has its advantages and disadvantages. The weight would just be too much. All right, peace out, guys. All right, well, <laughs> as if you follow my videos, the hike that you expected is not the hike you get. <laughs> Anyway, the day got away from me, and I'm not going to do the seven-mile loop today, but uh, I do want to get into it at some other point. But here, look at this. This is Crystal Cove Trail, 1.7 miles. We're going to do this. There's a little cove over here to the right. Looks pretty doggone nice. But I just wanted to show you what I found online. Okay. Uh, bicycling. The trailhead at the corner of State Park Street and Sailboat Avenue. It's a... Uh, 0.6 miles and then you do the seven mile trail which runs through a variety of habitats including pine woods Okay, so that would be cool So then you got the eco walk trail, which is a two mile loop, which uh, we might hit that after the Crystal Cove trail um, Then it talks about the Dixie Shores trail and Then it talks about the Fort Allen trail Then it talks about the Lake Loop Trail and the Hemlock Island Trail and the Courthouse Hemlock Boardwalk and Primitive Trails. <laughs> There's nothing online about the Crystal Cove Trail, which I don't really understand. So what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna go down here. This is a kayak launch. I got a buddy of mine who says he wants to take me kayaking, so I'm gonna go down there and look at that, and uh, we'll just get started. There you go. Anything? I'm not sure. I was actually going to ask the park ranger if he... So I'm here at Crystal River Preserve State Park, St. Martin's Marsh Aquatic Preserve. And uh, it does say it's part of the Florida Public Archaeology Network, Central Region Center, University of South Florida. So what I came for, and uh, we'll just get into this real, real quick, is, uh, and you know, if you search on your UPS, we are on Sailboat Avenue, North Sailboat Avenue, and then there's West State Park Street. And uh, what I want to do is this seven mile loop trailhead and parking. But in the meantime, I thought we might get some video of the park going this way because uh, it is getting a little late in the day and I'm not sure I can do the self seven mile loop today but uh, at least we'll we'll get back into the park so let's do it look at that sucker what do you think of that what it what is that I don't know what kind of fish it is looks kind of scary I caught this one and dad caught the little one the little one that's in the yeah. bucket all right yeah. and let's let's get over here there he is down in the bucket. Yeah, that's the little one. All right, all right. We're gonna try to grow these. We're you gonna you're gonna take them home and put them in an aquarium. We have a pool, so what can well, these guys survive in pools? I don't know. I'm not a fish person, but I was just thought it was cool looking, so I thought I'd get it on the video here. We, they might survive in pools. All right, cool. All right. 
All right, so we're at the kayak launch here at Crystal River. Man, look at this! Isn't this awesome? Yeah. I know. We got we got uh, my buddies here. Uh, of course, I can't get the kid on the video. That would be uh, illegal. What's that? Caught the, those kind of fish and oh, yeah? rocks. Yeah, what what fish did you catch? Those two like fish, and I don't know what they're called. Okay, well I just you know, I was just curious because it does look like good fishing out in there, and this is the kayak launch. It uh, this would be pretty cool. You ever been out in a kayak in here? You just kind of throwing your rod and throwing the rod in the water there, huh? All right. Well, I'm, I'm going to go for a hike, and hopefully I'll see you later, and you'll have some fish for me. I'd like to see that. There's, there's a, <laughs> is that, is that a cool rod or what? Oh my gosh, I love it. And, uh, but anyway, we're out today, and uh, let's get a little hike in. So before I forget what this is called, this is the Crystal Cove Trail, 1.7 mile. Uh, little hike here. Boy, I tell you, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my God. I And I was going to do, I'm, we'll, we'll come back. This is Homo Sasa, Florida. Okay. I had to come down here because the dealer, I'm picking up the mats for my car, which is irrelevant to this video. But uh, I just kind of wanted to show you. You know, there's places along here you can pull up and fish. Uh, no swimming. <laughs> Guess what? There's gators. Oh my goodness. Can you imagine in Florida there might be a gator in the water? I can't believe they put that sign up, but the, thank God they did because I'm sure that somebody will uh, try to dump in the... Uh, it might be me. There you go. All right, so you can see this is just kind of a, a fun little hike. And uh, if I get a change in scenery, we'll, we'll get a little video. This might just be a little five-minute video. Who knows? Not too far along the hike. Look at this picnic table. So if you came down here, you could just like park your car, have a nice picnic. And uh, and then of course, you know, like I said, I want to do the kayaking. And uh, so we come out here and look and there's the sign. So it looks like it goes on up a ways the Crystal River. Man, what a, what a great place to fish and kayak. Oh my gosh. I hope my buddy doesn't stiff me. I would love to come back here. So I wanted to show this. You're kind of diving away from the river at this point. Now you can see it's an easy trail. Now what you're going to want is a floppy hat. <laughs> Luckily I have one on. Deer flies are they, they're buzzing around trying to trying to suck my blood. But uh, luckily I can just ignore them as they bounce, bounce away on the hat. Look at here. There's a bench right there. Looks good. So I bet you could hike around here quite some time. Now the question is, do you go right or do you go left? So we'll go left uh, and let's just show the, let's show the bugs so you can see them. They're flying around trying to get me. But, uh, but it's still a beautiful day. I mean, we've had a lot of rain. You know, you, you just can't get away from uh, the bugs. I got one just killed him on the bad neck. All right, here we go. So this will be a real brief video. You know, you're gonna have to have the bug netting. I, uh, daggone it. I got it bug netting in my car. I just didn't want to put it on. And uh, they're just all over me. Even though it's, it's a nice open trail, but it's just too much rain, too, too much in the summertime. Um, anyway, uh, I guess that's it for the day. But I tell you what, this would be a great place to hike. Uh, definitely bring your bug netting. And uh, don't do what I did, try to come out here and hike this trail ill-prepared. I just uh, I just thought uh, he looked wide open, and a lot of times when you have these, these open areas with a well-maintained trail, you don't have to worry about the bugs, but uh, not today. Too difficult. We'll, we'll go out and see if them guys caught anything, and that'll be it for the day.